Hey everybody, this is Perch, and it's uh, it's a Friday night. It's pretty late. I mean, I did the live stream several hours ago. Uh, it was fun. I appreciate Wes, uh, my, my thinking critical buddy, coming on and, and talking with me for a while. And um, I, I got to thinking kind of after that stream. And then uh, the other thing that happened is, is while that stream was going on, J. Scott Campbell uh, posted a statement uh, kind of saying, you know, his view of this entire kind of thing. And, it, and it, I, I read his statement, I read it several times, because there's nothing I disagree with in the statement. I think it's fine. I, I agree with actually what he's saying there. And I agree, or not agree, but I appreciate the links he goes to to try and walk through the details of his thought process. And I respect that. Um, I like people who, who I've said it before, show the math. They, they say, this is why I think what I think, and here's where I came to that conclusion. You can agree and disagree, but you, I respect people who say, who try and lay it out. This is, this is why I came to the conclusion I came to. And what I hate about today's comic culture and kind of, and not just comics, everything, is that that's not enough for people. They don't really want to hear how you think. They want to, they, they don't respect the, the, how you came to a decision. They want to tell you how to think. They want to tell you what you're supposed to believe. They want to say, you, you have to do it this way. You have to do it my way. It's my way, period. And that makes me, uh, that makes me crazy. I, I've said before, I don't want people, I mean, it, I, don't, I don't want people telling me what to do. I, I get very resistant when somebody wants to tell me how to act, how to behave, unless that person is my wife, uh, police. I, I mean, I'm okay with, you know, authority. You know, I, I, that kind of stuff is fine. I obey the laws. But uh, what I dislike is even if I agree with what somebody is, you know, is, is for, whether it's, uh, you know, associated for society, for ideology, for whatever, even if I agree with those things, if somebody comes up to me and says, you have to think these things, these things, uh, you don't, you don't have a choice. This is the only right way to think. You have to think this way. Uh, it drives me nuts. I naturally start to, to say, well, I'm not on your team anymore because I, I think nothing it's really valuable. Nothing worth anything works that way. Um, the the part about uh, Campbell's statement that that I that I, that I I don't like is that it feels like he he felt he had to write that. And I and I, I again I appreciate that he laid out his thoughts. I'm conflicted here. I very much appreciate laying his thoughts. What I disagree with is that this feeling that he felt he had to say this because uh, people were just gonna go after him and after him and after him and demand things. And it's in particular uh, kind of one line here that um, that that I, I think is maddening, uh, and it's not again. I don't I don't think he's wrong. I just think it's maddening that anyone, any reasonable person, would expect this of somebody else. But I know they do, and I'll, I'll talk real personal here in a minute. The line in his uh, his statement that got me is the one that says, "FYI, I've spent the last few nights spending hours trying to catch as many of them." Uh, actually, I need to back up a little bit. Sorry. Uh, the pretext here is to get serious for a moment. It's been brought to my attention that there are some bigoted, hateful, and completely over the line comments buried in my This Fixes In thread. And he's talking about Instagram here. FYI, I've spent the last few nights spending hours trying to catch as many of them as I could. But let me tell you, policing a hot topic in a constantly changing Instagram thread ain't easy. And he talks about the algorithm moves and shifts and the timelines. And it's a, and I agree that just, that's a, that's a nightmare. If you're trying to monitor the comments in YouTube, like they, they will start to hide and suppress. And what I see in my console is completely different than what you see out. And, and they don't even show me all the comments. That's why if you're like, why didn't he hurt my comment? It's like, I never saw it. So then I have to go to a different tool. So it's, it's, these tech systems are, are fundamentally broken, which seems unrelated, but it's not. Um, and so he has to say, if you find one in there that hasn't been purged, do not view that as an endorsement from me. And my comment there is like, no shit. I, why, why in the world, in a public platform that is not owned by J. Scott Campbell, meaning Instagram, why is there an expectation that he has to go through and, and constantly monitor his feed? Is he not allowed to sleep? If he goes to bed and a hateful comment gets posted to his Instagram, and, uh, you know, and then he wakes up six hours later, is he an evil person for allowing it to stay up there six hours later? Is that the world we're in that this is, this is crazy. And for that matter, why in the hell is there any expectation that he has to go through in here and purge this stuff? 
I totally get it if he wants to. And I've done, I, you know, definitely I go through my uh, YouTube comments and I purge the, uh, you know, sex bot, uh, spam and the, the people who are trying to promote other stuff. And generally my stance is, as you all know, and by the way, some people hate this stance. I've gotten plenty of, you know, support slash demanding emails. I've gotten people on other websites uh, saying that I'm a terrible, rotten bigot. I've, I've gotten all those kinds of horrible comments because generally I leave the comments alone. I don't want to get in the business of starting to police them because then I'm always going to have to police them. And bluntly, if I take a uh, 12-hour plane ride to Japan, um, I'm not going to waste, you know, airplane Wi-Fi trying to neuter statements that some dumbass made on my feed. I'm not going to do it because it's it's a waste of time. My words you hear on these videos, there's there's plenty of them. The lots of people take shots. I mean, Mumbles does it every day about how much content I produce. But joking aside, to be serious for a moment, this is who I am. This is my opinion. Um, the If somebody comes onto the comment board and writes some racist, bigoted, terrible shit on there, um, that's not on me. That's on them. And that's obvious. Anybody in real life knows this. If you are in a Walmart shopping and some guy the next aisle over starts screaming obscenities, you are not guilty because you're in proximity of that. That, that is absurd. And this is what this is like. I, I, I hate this, this behavior. I absolutely hate it. Uh, it's, it's not helpful. He says in there, I've considered just locking up the comment threads altogether, but I was concerned that'd be taken in the wrong way. Like I was blocking open discourse or seen as a retreat by me or something. I've had the same feeling. I've absolutely had the same feeling. There's been plenty of times. It's like, I, I don't want to do this. And it, all it takes is one or two dumb assholes to make the entire thing gross. Um, over the last two years, I've done this channel. I generally, I've enjoyed it. Um, 95% of the time I've enjoyed it. And then 5% of the time, I just want to shut the whole thing down and walk away because it's, an, it, this stuff is annoying and it's performative. It's by a very small group of people that do not care about comics. They don't care about coming to an understanding over anything. They don't want to, you know, make any kind of, of good relationship. They just want to scream at you and they want to demand things of you. And I know this drives people crazy, but yes, it is both sides that do this. Not, not everyone, not even a majority of either side. There are Republicans and there are Democrats and there are conservatives and there are uh, you know, liberals that are normal people. The majority of them are normal people. We've been tricked into thinking that the other side is inherently evil because it's just the other side. And that's absurd. It's not. There's a very small percentage of dumbasses in each group that scream and, and we're all reacting to that small people. And I hate the feeling that 95% of us are being jerked around by 5%. I think that's wrong. And I think we give them the power to let them do that to us. All these groups, whether it's, uh, you know, I, and there's so many groups, uh, th you know, this for this, anti this, all the rest. And I, I, there are people, the majority of people for all these groups, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise, that are normal, reasonable, good people. And then there's a small percentage that are frankly using their group that they're assigned to, to make a name for themselves, to bully, to promote, to demand, and to have power. Those people are jackasses and it's time we start, start ignoring them and stop letting them speak for everyone else. They don't. I, I again, you know, I, I, you're reading over his statement. There's nothing wrong in his statement. The wrong part is that he had to give it in the first place. That's the wrong part. Um, it, it, it's a good God. Campbell is an artist. He draws material and I mean no offense when I say this, but he's had the same style for a long time. It's the same stuff. And if, if you, you know, there's no waking up in 2021 and realizing that his style is suddenly magically bad. It's been the same thing for 20 years, more. And it's good. It sells. The reality is I've employed people and kept them employed because I sell comics and some of the comics I sold were his. Some of the artwork he did employed white people, black people, 
Native Americans, gay, male, female, all kinds of people helped keep their jobs because comics sold. And, and his were some of those. And it, it is a stupid argument anyway. Again, as so many people like to remind you, if you don't like it, don't buy it. You don't have to. Nobody is forcing you. In fact, with Campbell's work these days, much to my annoyance, quite frankly, it's easy to avoid his stuff because a lot of his stuff are variant covers. He doesn't have a monthly comic coming out for you not to buy. He's got a variant cover that, frankly, you have to go out of your way to get. And the fact that somebody who's doing that type of work today has to write a statement uh, basically saying that, uh, hey, I'm, I'm sorry that I wasn't awake 24-7 deleting all the awful comments that some dumbasses make is, is a standard that nobody should be held to. Bluntly. Nobody. And the people screaming at, at Campbell should, should learn to just, to don't, just don't like the art. Don't buy it. Leave it alone. That really is okay. Whatever you are. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I, I just, um, this, all of this saps our energy to enjoy these comics, to do what we do. It's, it's a distraction and it's a, just, it's a distraction us putting our head in the noose every freaking time. Um, d just, just make your art, you know what? I, and, and stop letting people scare you. I've had people send me concern trolling mails going, you know, if you don't fight against the SJWs, they're going to cancel you. They're going to come for you. Bring it. Seriously, just bring it. I don't care anymore. Do it. I, I'm, you know, we live our lives. I'm not going to live in fear because I have to hate the other group. And if I don't hate them enough, then they're going to get me like the boogeyman. This, this is ridiculous. Okay. I know some people have had bad things happen to me or to them. I also know that the media loves to enhance the story of people who get in trouble to make it feel like everyone is always after you. It's one way people have control over you. Can, can people wreck other people's lives? Absolutely. They can. They definitely can. But these stories, like everything else, are also overblown. And if you live in constant fear, then you feel like you have to constantly defend yourself. You have to write notes talking about uh, how you didn't delete things fast enough. And frankly, I don't know how much time it took for uh, Campbell to write this up. But right now, I would have easily paid five grand uh, to him to just draw instead. That's what I would have preferred. It's his life. Of course, he can do whatever he wants. But it just pains me to think that he could have been drawing a really cool splash image. And instead, he had to write this letter, uh, which is absurd. It's, it's, it's well said. What he wrote, I think, was well stated. He did it better than I could have. There's no nothing wrong with what he wrote. The wrong part was he had to waste his time writing it. And you know, this isn't, this isn't what we want comics to be, right? Anyway, my statement on the, on the matter. I'm tired. Like it's late on Friday. I just did a two hour stream. So why am I doing more? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have some more whiskey. Hey, like, and subscribe and thanks for, and yeah, or don't subscribe. It's, it's, you know what? It's all good. Really. I'm here to have fun. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening.